All right, so uh, reason I, I have shaders off, so, all right, uh, I don't have enough space in my inventory for that right now. Okay, so reason I have shaders off while I am uh, streaming or on the surface is uh, basically I cannot stream and have my shaders on and record all at the same time. It's merely just, like, a computer limitation. Nothing more. Like, I'm sorry that my computer's not, like, the most amazing thing in the universe, but that's just the way it is. So, let's, uh, get rid of the things we don't need here. And my saplings, uh, better not forget that. There we go. Um, I wonder if we can, like, compost apples just out of, like, curiosity. Yeah, you can compost apples. Okay. Uh, wasn't sure if that was a thing or not. Okay. So... Let's discuss our, like, issue here. So, our issue is we want to, uh, make a way to get down there. Problem is, is, uh, there's no practical way to do this. Um, like, I, I've thought about this here, and there's no practical way to do this. Uh, right now, like, our best bet is to, like, literally plow this over. But, uh, that's kind of, uh, hilariously inconvenient. So... That's going to require an AFK session and uh, a lot of, like, iron shovels. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh... Start setting up the melon farm. Not the automatic one. So, uh, here, here's the thing about the automatic melon farm. Is the automatic melon farm requires uh, detectors, and l let me look this up here. What, what what do detectors require? Detector. Mm, Minecraft. Oh, I I mean observers. So the thing is, is they require quartz, and that requires uh, going to the Nether. So that's, that's an entirely different issue. But uh, what we can do is we have plenty of oak logs now. So we're going to go ahead and make ourselves, uh, well, start making the uh, next big monstrosity we need to make. And that is the uh, melon farm. So we're, we're, we're really just going to outline it here first. So I want about... Okay, so F3G here. Alright, so... Um, Alright. So... Our thing is, like, contained within the chunk here. So this is this is where the melon farm would be. 
Obviously, I'm going to have to fill, fill some things in. But this is where the melon farm, farm would be. Problem is, is uh, I have to figure out how to, like, do this here. So within the chunk, there needs to be a uh, jack-o'-lantern. And fortunately, we have this nifty little uh, thing here. Where, where did I put... Oh, there, there's a jack-o'-lanterns. Okay. Fortunately, we have this nifty thing here. That pretty much just tells me where things are. So I can just go ahead and put this right here. And, uh... Then put another one right here. Okay. And I really should get, like, some dirt blocks to, like, fill this up. Yeah, there we go. Will I need this mini? Uh, no. But is it convenient for me? Uh, yes. Oh, wait. Um, needs to be on this side, so... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Nope. Okay. So I'm going to have to, uh... Do what's known as double layering. So the thing is, is you always want to have like two layers of a block underneath you. Uh, if if you can get away with it, triple layer. But always have like multiple layers of blocks underneath you, because creeper explosions uh, usually affect at least uh, a block underneath them. Ideally, you'd have more than that, but for landscaping purposes, this is kind of the useful, like, methodology. So, F3G. Alright. So, let's, let's line up uh, where the dirt needs to go. Two, and then uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, and then one, two. Okay, there we go. Like, uh, that shows me where I need to put the dirt, and this shows me where I need to uh, adjust the lanterns. So let's uh, go back into full screen here. There we go. And we're going to need to... Uh... Alright. So we, we, we can use dirt here, mainly because... Uh... We need to, uh, sort of fill this all in. And I have, like, pretty much unlimited dirt, as far as we are concerned. As far as we are concerned, we have unlimited dirt. Dirt is not an issue. Uh... But we do have to, uh... Pretty much fill things in. So, since we know what we're doing, this is gonna be rather simple. Just time-consuming.
But uh, we are gonna put some effort into eliminating the uh, like massive number of uh, like torches around here. Oh, nope, I already messed it up. Like, I'm trying to do part of this by eyeballing it, and it just doesn't work if you do that. Oh, I messed it up even more. Like, this system doesn't work if you try to eyeball it. Alright, I am going to need to fill this in here. Um... We're going to need some dirt. A lot of it. Alright, let's make sure to clear out any, like, excess dirt from over here. Otherwise, we're going to have problems. So, let's go ahead and get this set up here. So, this outlines our farm, pretty much. Uh, we are going to need to uh, layer where we can. So, let's double layer where we can, because this is eventually going to be triple layered anyways. Because of all the uh, farm. Well, farms in the way. So let's uh, let's make sure to get all of this set up here. Now let's. Uh, Let's do this before I forget. Alright, so now I pretty much just have to uh, replicate this farm all the way around. So one, two, one, two, and then in the center, two. Two, one, two, two. On the outer section. Okay. Making sure here. So on the outer section, we go out two. And two, and one, two. And there we go. Okay. Now we do the same over here. Okay. So now we uh, we used uh, oak logs on this outer section here. So let's uh, repeat the process over here. And uh, we're, we're going to end up doing this with birch as well, except birch will be wheat. Because I'm going to have like a different wood associated with like every uh, kind of uh, farm here. There we go. Okay, now we strip them. Uh, 
And I'm gonna need to uh, get some planks for this as well. Okay. Now I can go ahead and start filling in dirt where we need to fill in dirt. And we will do that. Alright, let's go grab some more dirt uh, as soon as we... Uh put in these planks here. And we we might end up putting in like another farm over here of like similar size. Uh I'll probably put in the uh birch one. Uh, I do need to get off my butt and make the birch farm. Uh, that's something we're gonna have to do. So I'm thinking we'll end up demolishing that and making an entranceway into the uh, sub area down below uh, later. Alright, so let's grab ourselves uh, some dirt, because we, we just want to get this first layer done before we do anything else. Because the first layer, like, once, it, once I get the first layer done, I can pretty much just copy it and go up. Oh, nope, grab the wrong thing. I am, of course, going to need, like, any, uh, ladders and whatnot. Actually, you know what? Um, how does one make scaffolding? That's what I want to know. Because, um... Like, a as I build these farms, I want to, like, make some minor improvements. So how does one build scaffolding? Um, scaffolding. Oh, uh, wait, you can make change? Oh, that's cool. Um, how do you make nuggets? Uh, that's, that's something I'm gonna have to look into. And of course, the wandering trader's back. Okay, um. Scaffolding, um. Oh, there it is. Bamboo and string. Okay. Um, that's actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Um, fortunately I have, like... Oh yeah, the, the, these you can farm with swords. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. And not the axe, like I thought. Oh yeah, it makes sense, because, like, bamboo is, like... In, in, uh, a plant from Asia. Like, that makes sense. A lot of sense, actually. And I can just go grab, like... I can chuck one of these, uh... Uh, in order to make the, uh, scaffolding, we need a stack of, uh, string. And fortunately, I happen to have a spider farm. So, the scaffolding, not gonna be an issue. Uh, we are go gonna have to, uh... Put that aside for now. 
But still, we know we can do it. So it's not going to be as big of an issue. But let's uh let's get this all settled in here. And we're going to need to uh put water down. Now this first layer uh, we don't really need to worry about, uh, slabbing or anything. It's the, uh, next couple layers that that's gonna be an issue. But, uh, before I get planting, I want to, uh, get things, like, set up here. So, starting here, this is one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, let, let's make sure I am uh, building this at the right height. For uh, clarification purposes, of course. Yeah, okay. Can I, uh, yep, made it. <laughs> Got him. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and sleep. Because, uh, the last thing I want to get done tonight is I want to put in, like, good, a good chunk of progress on, uh, the melon farm. Now, obviously, I'm not going to get it done tonight because uh, I don't want to go for too long because uh, it's like, oh god, it's 1130 already. And my eyes are starting to hurt because I'm an old man. And I'm up past my old man bedtime. We're gonna need to empty out some of our inventory over here because uh, I, I don't have room to work with like what I have let's uh oh wait uh, I needed to uh, jam some of those in there okay so this is one two three four five six all right let's uh there we go so now I have like a couple stacks of this Let's, uh, get, like, two stacks of this. And... From an outside perspective here... Alright. 
So I am supposed to uh, pretty much do this. Of course, uh, I am actually going to have to, like, do some more work on the walkway. Uh, the walkway around here is something that needs to get done. Because right now I don't have any room to work over here. Alright, uh, just break some temporary blocks over here. And uh, now I need more dirt. Uh, my inventory is a mess. All right. Um, chuck some of these uh, scaffolds in here. All right. I'll I'll put some like cobblestone here. Nobody will notice uh, eventually. Like, it's all. this is all gonna get covered up underneath here at some point. Uh, right now, it's kind of just uh, in the way, so to speak. And I just realized something absolutely terrible. Uh, I made my roof out of... Uh, Wood. Crap. Uh, too late now. Uh, we're just gonna have to craft some lightning rods, I guess. Uh, gonna have to learn how to do that. There we go. Like, I can just barely reach that. Okay. So, one, two, oh wait. Okay. Downside of these is these break really easily. But you can also really easily climb and descend them. Which is very nice. Uh, but you gotta be careful. Like, this is, this is part of the reason why I was so concerned about these uh, newfangled things. Because if you're on, like, the direct center, like, it's not a problem. But if you go too fast, it is a problem. Alright, uh, tools. Like, it'd be nice if, like, they organized this by rarity. But for whatever reason, they don't. Which is kind of strange, and gosh darn it, let's not uh, have these uh, torches here. There we go, okay. So from here, uh, we pretty much just go ahead and put this out here. Like, I want to get the framework done tonight before I do anything else, really. Alright, so this is where I would, uh, scaffold up. Like, getting everything, like, set up here, really kind of nice. Like, now that I know what I'm doing, uh, I can, like, 
pretty much quickly get things done in a very efficient and timely manner. Of course, I do have the issue of, like, I can't reach too high. Yeah, I'm gonna need a new keyboard soon, because uh, my current keyboard is, like, freezing up sometimes. Alright, so once we finish the framework, I'm gonna sign off for the night. Uh, I'll probably end up streaming something else tomorrow. Not sure what I'm gonna do, but I'll figure something out. Yeah, I stopped at right. I stopped at just the right place. So let's. Uh, well, I tried. I tried landing uh, where I needed to land. Didn't happen. Oh, I'm also forgetting like something important about scaffolding. Um, scaffolding is also gravity bound. Like, interestingly enough. Like, I didn't know this until, like, someone showed it to me, but the scaffolding is gravity bound. Like, never thought scaffolding was gravity bound, but apparently it is. And how many days have I played today? I have, uh... Put about 20 days into Minecraft today. Very nice. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and... Also, these things break, like, at, like, the slightest touch. You also can't, like, spawn them while standing in them. Which has some, uh, issues. So, we're, we're just gonna go around putting up torches up here, so I'm not dealing with, like, all sorts of nonsense while working up here. Okay, so you cannot, uh, place these unless there is, uh, so you can't really, like, drop scaffolding down from here. Okay. Interesting, like, issue, but not entirely, like, world-ending. Okay, I stopped at, like, just the right place, as usual. So, we'll put up torches here.
course, we will need to, uh, like, s uh, strip these logs as we go here. Of course, uh, you can't, uh, place these things when you're, like, in their area. It's complicated. Like, this is one of those things, like, they added when, like, in, in the time between, like, I stopped actively playing and the time, like, I got back in. I guess it's it's complicated. I have a very complicated relationship with uh, uh, some of the new stuff in this game. All right, now I just need to uh, go ahead and. Strip some uh, logs that we put up here. Uh, I'm not sure what we'll use for the uh, stairs here. Um, I'll think of something. But it, it takes about like 40 minutes to get this set up and going. So like each layer takes about like 30 minutes which is not like super impressive but like right now it works so I'm happy with what we have um, like I would keep playing but it's late and I have been live for almost two and a half hours here and as much as I would like to keep going it is almost midnight so now is a good time to stop. <laughs> 